Hello guys, in this video I'm going to implement remove item from cart functionality. And let's start with Altair plugin to check GraphQL docs. Let's find remove item from cart mutation. Let's Uh, let's add such query so the import is required and input uh, basically cart id cart id which some string and cart item id is deprecated so we need cart item ui id uid Card. which also will be some ID which means spring or number and in response we will receive same as we got previously in card details and here I just will add UID let's try and UID value is incorrect we need to actually place some valid card ID and UID so I think that's enough to start let's back to our code and to start let's go to get card details first thing i want to move prices to the fragment and also type sorry let's import type here and in the items I need UI ID to pass it to our mutation. Also, let's add it to our type. And now we can add our mutation. So let's copy what we have before name it remove item from cart and replace add product to cart with our mutation name it remove cart and uh, cart id and we need another variable cart item uid type id and remove this and use this variable here and return I want same as we have in card details so 
just copy it. Let's do import. Okay, good. And remove item from card response type will be remove item from card and actually it will be this type also let's do import statement okay looks good uh, since we move card detail totals type let's check if we used it somewhere and it broke something yeah it shouldn't be import from here let's re-import it from correct place and I think we are fine for now next let's go to our use card details hook and I want to add same as we did in add products to cart use mutation name this function remove item from cart remove item loading type will be remove item from cart response and our mutation name let's name it remove item from cart uppercase now let's create the function remove item just remove from cart it will be async uh, we need item UID as a param let's wrap it with try catch console log the error and here we will run our mutation remove item from cart variables and variables will, will be cart id and cart item uid from the param if response data we would like to update our data since item items will be updated so it 
will look like this. In case of error, response errors, I would like to show error as we have in use card. Same way, show message. And here I would like to use response errors message. Let's add this function type and remove item from card func will be return promise void. I just remove from card to be shorter. And I like to use it here and in result type. So we can return it here. Now we can move to our card detail screen and on press or our card on card item press actually on remove card item press we need to pass item here so and the param will be item card detail item type and we would like to get remove from card function and pass item uid here okay looks good and maybe what else we want to do here while uh, the mutation is loading we would like to add some loading state so let's back to our use card details and also remove uh, item loading add to the result um, also we need to keep somewhere UID so let's add state remove item uid set remove item uid use state empty string should be fine add import statement from react and set remove item uid here and now we can check if remove item loading and remove item uid equal to current item uid then we will render activity indicator size small otherwise we will render icon as before okay looks good let's try go to our cart and let's try to remove something you see loading indicator but card isn't updated let's take a look 
in flipper if we have some errors. And here miss debugger. Let's try again and receive some object. And here we have unknown argument card ID on field card of type. Uh, let's take a look on our mutation query. Look like something wrong is here. We have input card ID. Remove. Okay. I think something wrong is here. Yeah, it's card. We don't have any params here. So let's try to reload our app and try again. And you see it's removed successfully as we expected. That's it, we'll see you in the new video.